Okay guys, welcome back to another episode and thank you for tuning in and watching my sorry butt. But today we're going to look at this e-packet from AliExpress. And why am I excited? Because guys, this is supposed to be a screen that I can hook up to my computer or mount inside and have all the cool little gadgets and the temperature readings and neat little things about my computer diagnostics and whatever on this little screen. Now this is only the three and a half inch. I did want to go with the bigger one, but first I wanted to see if they were any good. And you know, was I going to get my money's worth? So let's unbox this bad boy, take a look at the software, test it out, see what we get. I hope it's really cool. Okay guys, I also want to point out Javi over here in the corner. They're the coffee concentrate that you pour a few drops into your coffee, whether it be cold or hot, or however you like your coffee, whether you just want to make a uh, cold ice cap or a warm coffee, or just stay awake during those gaming nights. Javi will add a little zing to your bling and better FPS. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's open this up and take a look at what we have here. Uh, again, I scraped up my address because I don't want people sending me free stuff, you know? Free, unless you really want to. <laughs> but anyway, this is a AliExpress product. I did cut the box uh, seal or whatever. It was taped along here. Nothing major. I wanted to make sure the screen was not cracked in any way because that would suck. I created with a little clip here, and this little clip is actually a stand for the product so basically you open it you flip this piece here and it, you can see here these little notches and that would be how you want it to lean if you wanted to just have it like a desktop thing or whatever it is very lightweight it isn't the best way to display it but for now for this video that's what we'll use then you get the lovely USB-C cable because this is actually a USB-C screen which is great to hear. And if you're hearing any clickety clacketing in the background, that's my dog walking on the hardwood floor in the hallway around my office because he knows I'm recording. Anyway, a USB-C, it's not a stupid long cable, uh, but long enough if you're gonna put it inside your computer or around your computer. But for my video, of course, I had to move things around because, well, it's not long enough for me to put here on this thing while I'm doing something over on my computer to show you guys working. You get a couple of adhesive stickers here. I don't know if that's what I'll use, but I'll try and get them out. Uh, a couple stickers here, just a double adhesive if you want to stick it to your glass or whatever you wish to do or stick it to the back. Uh, usually your um, shroud in your computer. I haven't figured out how I want to place it yet, but uh, that is an option for sure. And now when we take this piece here out, whoop, we have the screen. Now, I haven't peeled this off yet, of course. I think it's supposed to be a touch screen. I'm not sure. I've never really, I mean, there's no real uh, proper things that I know of that you would use touch for for it. It's nicely sealed, so you don't have to worry about anything bad happening to it. Uh, so first you're greeted with a three and a half inch screen, a little bit bigger border over here than there is over here, but that's no biggie. You can put it like this, or you can put it like this, depending on what type of image you want on here. And of course there's two USB-C ports. Not sure what this one here is for. It might be some sort of a programming port, but it's not used in our situation. We use this one here to power it and to send the information back and forth from it. So that's the only one we have to worry about. Here, of course, you're greeted with a ribbon cable that connects this smart board or tuning smart screen or whatever to the screen so they communicate. Other than that, there isn't much to this product at all other than let's get to the software, let's see what it looks like, and let's go from there. So first, you need to download the software now that is going to start up the screen. Until you do that, your screen is either going to be uh, just a white screen when you plug it in it'll be doing nothing other than just this white background basically like a, you opened up word and you had nothing bordered around it or whatever it'll just be a white screen period so then you need to start up the 3.5 inch english now this was an updated file and the uh, vendor should send you the link for this to download directly and if 
you ever buy this uh, screen and that does not happen, let me know. It's called USB monitor. So and you have to right click and start it up as administrator or it will not run. So run as administrator. So in this case, uh, this is the template that I was using. Um, there is a bunch of different templates. So it starts off with this one here with this little girl. If you were to go, uh, you can do vertical or landscape. So you can do whatever you want as far as um, screen goes, if you want it to be standing or not. This one's not that bad, actually. I thought about using this one. Looks kind of cool. Um, and basically what happens here, uh, if you're running in, so this is saying that it was an Intel 9900K, but I can actually change that and type in, let's say, AMD uh, 1800X or, you know, uh, my 5900X. And if I want, I can actually put Ryzen on it as well. Uh, in this case, it's going to make it too uh, out there. So you would just remove that. Uh, there are other ones where you can get away with doing that. And in this one, you can only define that uh, one device on this one here. So you see how it changed right here? Um, that is when you hit run now, it'll update that whole entire screen now to this screen. So, for example, if I go down here again, if I want Cyberpunk, if you're a Cyberpunk fan, boom. You can change all the wording. So you can define the uh, video card. So I could change that to an AMD 6900. Uh, or a 3080 or a 3090, whatever you want. And then here you can uh, Asgard T. So that is his uh, SSD, for example. So you can change that to Samsung, you know, 980, whatever, or uh, Intel 660Ps or, or whatever the case is. But you get the idea where you can actually define. So you're an AMD guy, not an Intel guy. You can change that to an AMD, whatever. Uh, then again, you can go to the Gundam theme which is cool. It's dark, but it's actually pretty cool. When it's on the screen, it looks so much better. Also, you can adjust. It's not letting me do that right now, but I can adjust the brightness of the screen. Usually, it looks good around here, but in some cases, I have put it all the way up when I was playing around with this. Now, apparently, you can make your own screen. I have not played around with that yet, but... Oh, theme editor. Okay, so we can go to the theme editor. We can select uh background image ui image so here's where you would uh play around and create your own theme now i haven't gotten into that yet and maybe one day i will get into it and do a whole thing for you guys if you guys want that uh the ones built in are pretty good if you go to i think this is mine right here this is the one i like it even has a ryzen logo over here in the corner the only thing that really bothers me about this one, now again, I can only define the 9900K, but I can put, like I said, uh, let's say I just wanted to say it was 1800X, it was my editing computer. Uh, let's put a capital, oops, 1800C, ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> uh, and you can see that here, it has changed. The only downside to this is the Republic of Gamer logo right here. Okay, I'm a gigabyte guy. So this is where I would like to make my own theme. Um, but anyway, that is the problem here. And um, I'm going to be putting this screen in Project Ripper, which is going to be a live stream build coming up. I'm just waiting now for a case to come in so I can talk to you about all the parts that are going into this and who the biggest sponsor is going forward. So that'll be a live stream coming up soon. Again, uh, you know, like, share, subscribe, whatever. If you want to see this live build of a Project Ripper, so it's a Thread Ripper. I just nicknamed it Ripper. Also going to be going over a build that I did called Project Game Over. And the reason why I called it Game Over, it's the most powerful computer I've ever built. And it's the most custom computer that I've ever built. So pretty excited about that. So anyway, you can do this. And if you want Magic Blue and you really like Magic Blue, well, you can actually go vertical as well so you can do landscape or vertical and again you can change the um clock or, or computer processor that you have here everything else will be detected so it's not such a big thing there i've even uh done like internet benchmarks to see what the data thing <laughs> but unfortunately it hit 99.9 .9 and locked out it's not designed to show gigabit internet as such but 
that is cool. So that gives you an idea now. So now if I hit run, it has now updated all of that to my screen in the vertical mode. And if you want, so while it's running, so this will be now in the background. So you just minimize it and the screen will continue running. Part here, uh, the recording is just on my phone. As you can see, I was using it in a landscape format. So now I am running uh, at, at this point. Sorry about that wire mess back there. I'm still working on some stuff. Um, now you can see that uh, it is in the wrong mode. So I would have to literally pick the screen up and turn it if that's what I wanted to do. So if I go back into this software, which I've now minimized, and I go back and I hit stop. So once I hit stop, um, if I close this software, for example, you'll see here. Um, oh, I got to cancel it down here. So if I cancel and turn off this software, which is Chinese, boom, you'll see the screen is now dead. So uh, here we go and uh, we start that back up again. Run as administrator, like I said. And if I hit run again, but I'm going to change it. So it's the way I want it. Uh, so we're going to go to uh, Magic Blue Landscape. And I'm going to change this. We're, right now we're using my 1800X, which is my uh, editing server. So right now I'm doing all this on my editing server because, hey, why not have the video there? It makes it more convenient. And hit Run. And you'll see. Watch this. How cool is that? Okay, sorry about using the phone this way instead of my, my 4K camera, but it's convenient and easy for me to hold, and then I'm able to, you know, kind of move it around. Da, 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 da. Whoa, that is a mess over there. Anyway, uh, studios become a mess. I'm sorry, and I'm, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> but anyway, you can see how that works. If you uh, were looking to change that, you would just hit stop. And then you would go down here. For example, if I went landscape technology and I hit run. How cool is that? See that? That's actually not a bad one either. So, uh, and in this one, you can change. I, I think I picked one in Chinese. Um, but for example, landscape technology run. I didn't change any of the names, just left it alone. But see? And again, that's got the uh, Asus. If you're an Asus fan, then these are perfect for you. Unfortunately, they are not for me. And you can see how it's live doing uh, GPU percentage. And you'll see my clock temps and so on. Wow, I'm actually running a little higher than I expected. But I have been... Uh, uh, oh, am I running high? No, I'm not. Sorry. I was looking at the screen over here. And I'm seeing these clock temps that actually don't really move. So, and I was actually seeing the GPU usage here on the thing, and I'm like, oh no. So here you have an Intel logo here and everything. And if you're an Intel fan, then I guess this is your screen. Uh, I am going to try and find more, um, how we say, uh, backgrounds, like uh, Turing smart screen uh, stuff to add to this to see if I can make this even better or try and make my own, of course. And that's what it's called. It's Turing, T-U-R-I-N-G, Smart Screen. Um, that is the software. It's right here, right here. Uh, even though it says USB monitor here, it's Turing Smart Screen. Now, normally I think you have to pay for this, but you're downloading it from a server. I'm guessing that the person has already done all that for you. And uh, again, if you buy this screen and it's an issue, let me know. And I will gladly share the link for anybody buying this and don't get the the proper software they wanted here's the gundam theme as you can see on the screen it looks gorgeous here in the video not so much but there wow so it's pretty cool i'm pretty excited about this and another one that i thought was pretty cool was i'm not sure if it was no actually this one's pretty cool too So it updates with your computer. So, I mean, it'll read information from your computer sensors or CPU-Z. I'm running, uh, I think it's uh, aided or whatever, 64, whatever they call it. Correct me if I said that wrong, because I probably did. Um, 
where is there's some really odd ones here but i mean that's just the way it's going to be so if i hit that one and run it of course it's going to be uh vertical so i would have to change my screen or uh, just turn it i mean it's not a end of the world thing here but um it does make it a little harder for the way i put my wire i gotta change all that um, I'm also going to show you how I'm going to mount it in Project Ripper. That way uh, you'll see that I'm not going to use a cable like that. That is a horrifying thing to see. Nobody wants to see that. Um, you've probably seen the magnetic data cables. Well, I'm probably going to go that route uh, for the simple reason that uh, it's cleaner and it's l So unless I can find a really nice L-shaped USB-C. Oh, that's another thing. It is USB-C, but I think I've already mentioned that before. So anyway, guys. Um, it is this. It is cool. Um, it's not expensive. It's under $50 delivered. And it's actually pretty cool. It's not the biggest screen out of them all, but it's definitely a sharp screen.